recession, recession. You hear the news everywhere. They will not stop. Salams all over YouTube, all over TV. What the hell is going to happen to cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin if we do have a recession? Let's go. That's that's a very interesting situation there, Double Recessions. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's, it's been coming up on the news a lot lately. I feel like we haven't even uh, been over one thing. But here comes another one. Now, I don't think our generation has experienced a recession before. Would that would that be accurate? Yes, we have. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Well, we have we have we have the two thousand and eight recession. We That's have a recession, but it was it wasn't it oh, wasn't was that, that bad. Was it, I guess was that a recession? Yeah. Well, okay, I mean, it wasn't up to six months. It, it wasn't. A, well, here's the thing. Let's look at a definition of a recession, shall okay, we? Okay. 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 Let's do so that. listen to this. A recession. Uh-huh. Okay is a significant decline in economic activity that lasts for months or even years. Jesus. Okay? Now, it does not end there. (laughs) Experts declare a recession is when a nation's economy experiences negative gross domestic... uh, Domestic, I said domestic. Domestic product, yes. GDP, (laughs) for sure, right? Rising levels of unemployment, Mm. okay? Falling retail sales and contracting measures of income and manufacturing for extended periods of time. I think all of this is happening in America right now. Would I, would you not say so? <sighs> Talk about okay. it. Okay. But there, but wait, there is more. Okay. Oh, Recessions are considered an unfavorable part of the business cycle. Oh, sorry. An unavoidable part of the business cycle. Or, a regular, or the regular cadence of expansion and contraction that occurs in the nature's economy. It does not sound like a fun time, obviously, but it sounds like this is where we are heading so far. Well, they said that GDP this year should be at least 2.3 up to 3%. So we're not at negative GDP yet. Yeah, but I think, I think uh, when you look at the overall picture, and, and and America's competitors, mm. well, or competitor, mm. right? I think I think we're falling behind, for sure, in that case, right? So, well, let's take a look at some of what uh, are the characteristics mm. of of uh, of a recession and how mm. this may be affecting Bitcoin, right? If that's in the cards at all. All right. So I'm looking here now, right? And based on everything going on in the current markets, right? We have right. stock markets, which has been crashing, tanking, falling, uh, hey, slipping dipping, and sliding to the slipping downside. And sliding, no name at all. Uh, Absolutely entertaining. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. but, <laughs> you should see people in public, man. They're crying. Hey, oh, hey, jeez, man. I don't. I I decided to stop looking at it because sometimes <laughs> it makes me sad to see them so sad. We I had mean, to create the old channel just to motivate ourselves. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is what I don't get, bro. It's like you can, you know, if you're selling in a loss, okay. Mm. Um, I mean, what do you expect out of that? It, it's a loss, right? And especially when you're selling with no plan as to why you're even selling stuff in a loss. But listen, that's not even today's video. Let's carry on. All we can yeah, say is that some people's accounts are experiencing a recession. <laughs> it is a recession. Carry on. <laughs> there yes, sir. Oh, and of course, yeah, we have, of course, everybody knows about this increase in right. inflation. I think we just did the video about that. Uh, yeah. How could inflation or increasing interest rates impact uh, uh, Bitcoin? And Absolutely. then, of course, supply chain demand issues are still there. We have the issue going on in China. We have some remnants of pandemics going on. We have the war in Russia and Ukraine, which is affecting oil prices. The list goes on. This is just some of them. We Listen, have the trucker tanker issues. I mean, it seems it seems very clear that when you're approaching a recession, there are certain indicators, certain markers, right, that yeah. um, tend to appear, and check, check, we yeah. seem to be slowly checking the box, box. right, on <laughs> yeah, all of those things uh, as we gradually approach this recession it's probably yeah. going to happen right yeah. given the way you know given the history of our government first of all and uh, their their lack of 
<laughs> well, the inability what? to make strong decisions for the economy. Let's yeah. put it that way, yeah. right? Don't to put say, it don't say that they're not responding. We just we can't get it right. Hey, so. listen, man. Look, I think that things could be much better than they are right now for America. You know? Yeah. But uh, let's leave it there. Now, when these sort of situations happen, like mm-hmm. when you have a recession, traditionally, we've seen that people tend to react by moving <laughs> or reallocating their assets. Their losses. <laughs> right? <laughs> to other... <laughs> or relocating their their funds, there we go, relocating their funds to alternative assets. Yeah. Such an example is actually holding cash, but which is actually really tough right now. You can't hold cash right now because, you know, inflation is 8.5, man. Cash is risk. Yo. Cash is risk, if you ask me, at this point in time. Uh, the other thing that people generally do during this time is some hardcore dividends. Mm-hmm. You know, I know someone, actually, this would be a good time to hit up someone like Brennan. Because yeah. Brennan is the dividend master. Brennan, we're yeah. watching, man. I need some dividend advice, sir. Yeah. You know, do you have some strong dividends yourself? I'm starting to build my dividends portfolio thanks to Brennan. Mm. Um, slowly but surely, I'll get there. there. Yeah. The final method uh, to protect your your wealth from this from recessions, right, or inflations and things like that, mm. will be things like gold as well. Or commodities if, if you're, and other if stuff. Ex- exactly. Commodities. We showed it in a previous video which we recorded yeah. how um, there has been so much inflows, right, of capital into commodities, right, mm-hmm. trying to protect from a recession, potential recession. Mm-hmm. And we've seen that this has been a trend where uh, when recessions are upcoming, uh, capital tends to flow in that direction. Mm-hmm. The only thing is, now we have Bitcoin. If I'm just going based on <laughs> the, the same logic, Right, I think that this should be good for Bitcoin. What do you think? Well, that's the thesis, right? But bef- yes. before we go there, we still have the Fed, right? Yes. The Fed can just come in and say, okay, we're going to try to save you because previous recessions, Feds will say, okay, you know what? Let's take a few basis points off of the interest rates. Absolutely. We'll see what happens there. It could go up. They can, they're probably the one going to cause this recession right now. So if they do cause the recession, are they going to bring back down? We're about to find out. But everywhere we look, no matter what you do, inflation is going to bite at your money. Absolutely. So where do you park your money? That's the question. Well, you know, inflation is rampant, right? Mm. Um, but personally, I think if we're talking about good places to store your wealth, right? I would want to go with something that seems to be promising so far. Something that seems logical to to invest in, right? Because... When when we talk about something that is logical to invest in, we're talking about something that is, you can see that is inherently diversified, right? Because it's not tied to any one economy, mm. right? So it's cross border. I would want to be in something that, yeah, it, it is global, right? I would yeah. want to be in something that obviously has a limited supply because, you know, if it's limited supply, people want more. There is scarcity and commodities, the value right? like commodities, holds, right? Commodities, yeah. Bitcoin, yeah. if you yeah. will. Right. Yeah. It is unfortunate, man. I wish that uh, gold was running up, you know, but, you know, oh, Peter yeah, Schiff yeah. just has to hold his L, you know, he just <laughs> hey, has to accept hey, that, you know, hey. this is not, it's not his time. Bro, listen, we're not in the 80s anymore. We're not in the freaking 70s. Look, mining gold is really dangerous enough to the, to the environment. And we're trying to beat, you know what I mean? Yes. Mm. So if we can invest in something that is helping the environment, right? And really, if you think about it, we'll enforce discipline into the government, right? To mm-hmm. stop this recession and this boom and bust cycle, if you will. Mm. I think that will all be better for it. You are right on point. Um, because as we're looking at this current chart right now, um, the reality of what we've come to discover is that Bitcoin is yet to actually face a real recession, right? Based on the track records. So right. what is going to happen to Bitcoin if we do experience a recession in the coming year? This is just my thesis. I think mm-hmm. there will be liquidity will continue to leave from the traditional markets mm-hmm. into Bitcoin. Do you have any uh, speculative thoughts on this one? I will say just like the institutions uh, right. move the money into commodities right. and uh, I bonds 
I think some might, some might consider the global uh, functionality of Bitcoin, given that mm-hmm. it's not uh, correlated to just the country, and consider investing in cryptocurrencies and Bitcoins themselves as well. So I think there's a possibility that Bitcoin will probably see some investment during that period. And if mm-hmm. the government decides to print more money and give the retail investors more money, heck yeah, everybody's oh, throwing so. the money into cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. I can see oh, that dude. happening. Yeah, it's tricky because I said I hope so, but realistically, I don't think that's a good, that's not a good scenario. <laughs> <laughs> we just give it, we just give yeah. it to the big corporations, man. That's what they do. Exactly, the they give it to the big corporations. They take all of it, they hoard it, they hit you with interest rates, all of that yep. good stuff, right? So, I mean, what do you guys think will happen in this situation? If we're going into a massive recession, will Bitcoin survive this? Are we going to see a crash? I mean, I've seen people talk about a crash all the way down to. Um, uh, you know, the low tens, right? To the yeah. tens and stuff like that. If you're Peter Schiff, I mean, we're talking about zero. So, yeah. I don't know. Let us know down in the comments uh, yes, where you think this is going, right? Um, let us know if you would like to see more videos like this or if you have some other ideas on videos you would like to see, do not hesitate to let us know. Subscribe to the channel as well. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Goodies. Final thoughts, double O. Hey, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing. We really appreciate you guys' time. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, until next time, present up. Double O.